U.S. combat troops are drawing down from Afghanistan as planned. But the other part of the plan, to leave some U.S. and NATO forces behind for training and peacekeeping missions, is still unclear. That's because the Afghan government has so far refused to sign a bilateral security agreement, or BSA. President Hamid Karzai's office says he wants U.S. assurances that it will play a key role in peace talks with the Taliban and stop nighttime raids on Afghan homes. Neither reason is legitimate, says Peter Thompson, a former U.S. envoy to Afghanistan. I think they're a smokescreen because he knows that the United States cannot force Pakistan to force the Taliban to negotiate uh, honestly. Uh, and on the night raids, we have done everything we possibly can. Scott Smith with Washington's U.S. Institute of Peace has a different view of Mr. Karzai's motivation. He's had several frustrations that for him are, are real and visceral. And one of these have been uh, what he sees as violations of sovereignty house raids, uh, civilian casualties that take place by uh, international military forces. And I think part of his, part of the explanation for his attitude on the BSA is an accumulation of being ignored on this issue despite the fact that he's raised them repeatedly. Viewers Akmal Davi was recently in Afghanistan interviewing the leading candidates in the upcoming presidential election and also taking the pulse of the Afghan people. There is a widespread perception that this agreement is crucial for the future of Afghanistan, that of the 2014 Afghan forces alone without international support would not be able to stave off the insurgency. That's why they believe signing a bilateral security with the United States and also another agreement with NATO will secure the future of Afghanistan from a possible Taliban takeover. But if this agreement is so important for the Afghan people, then why is President Karzai not signing it? Peter Thompson. He was, uh, of course, uh, raised up to uh, the leadership of Afghanistan by the United States. Afghans look at foreign selected leaders um, in a negative light. So he still has this cloud hanging over him as he leaves office, and he would like to push back on that. Other experts believe President Karzai is unwilling to sign the agreement because he may want to remain relevant in the decision-making process till the very end. The BSA is the last thing that he has to offer uh, the U.S. and the international community. So to some degree, when he signs the BSA, he's signing his resignation uh, from the presidency. And I think he wants to hold on to that. Uh, as long as possible. Many experts are sure an agreement between Washington and Kabul will be signed, if not by this Afghan government, then by the next one. Kokop Farshori, VOA News, Washington.